These hungry and sick sea lion pups are some of the casualties of warmer El Nino waters. Inside the Channel Islands Marine and Wildlife Institute, volunteers are trying to get the pups to eat sardines and herring. How much did 120 get? The animals also get their glucose levels checked and are treated if needed. I have two more animals that I think are crashing. Sadly, some of these little guys won't make it out of intensive care. Since 2013, when the ocean started warming up, sea lions had to venture farther away from the Channel Islands in search of food. The babies will stick around for a couple days or three or four days when they're young. And then, of course, as time goes on and mom's not coming back, uh, they start to, to venture off on their own. And the problem is getting worse. Uh, then, of course, last year was unprecedented for us. We had 359. This year, we're, we're already at 160. So, and it's only the middle of March. So we've got a long way to go. <laughs> In the outside pen, a much brighter picture. These sea lions are now eating and working out. They all just go in and they compete for their fish, which is really good because that will help them in the wild. And soon it will be time to go home. When it's time for these animals to be released, we have an agreement with the island packers and they donate their boat time for us and we literally take them out to the Channel Islands and release them where they were born.